Hello everyone, today I am going to explain uh, Ogle's approximation method VAM. We are finding the IBFS, we are finding the IBFS initial basic feasible solution using Ogle's approximation method. To find, uh, the, to find the solution in this method, first check whether the given problem is balanced or not. If you add sum of supplies is equal to 1200, if you add sum of demands, you will get 1200. Therefore, the given TP is a balanced TP. Like this, first of all, by observing the given problem itself, you have to check whether it is balanced or not. If it is balanced, then only we have to proceed further. Now, this is balanced TP because if you add both sides, you will get 1200. Now, the procedure of VAM is in every row and every column, we need to calculate penalties. Penalty. Here also, penalty. For each and every row as well as each and every column, we have to calculate penalty. First row. In the first row, the difference between two least numbers, difference between two least numbers. Here 1 and 3 are the two least numbers, difference is 2. Here 2 and 5 is the two least numbers, the difference is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. Here two least numbers are in the third row, 3 and 2, difference is 1. And enter into the first column. In the first column, difference between two least numbers are 3 and 2, 1. Here 3 and 1 is 2. Here 5 and 3 is 2. 4 and 2 is 2. That if in the same way, you have to enter each and every row as well as each and every column and identify the difference between two least numbers. The two least number difference between two least numbers will become the penalty. Now, after finding all the penalties, Identify the highest penalty. In the penalties, the highest penalty is put one round off. Enter into the second row. In the highest penalty, we have got in the second row. That's why enter into the second row. In the second row, the least cost element is 2. Identify the least cost element. A second row, the least cost element is 2. That's why I put one box here. See the corresponding demand, corresponding supply. Here demand is 250, supply is 400. Which one is minimum? 250. That's why 250 put here. And we use 250 0. We use 250. The remaining is 150. Now wherever you have got 0, just omit that particular column wherever you get zero omit that particular row or column here we have got in the first column i'm omitting i'll remove the i'll remove the first column and remaining only i will write one seven four six five nine three three two Supply is 300, 150, 500, 350, 400, 200. This is demand. Again, penalty. Same method. Penalty. 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 Now, enter into the first row. In the first row, the difference between two least numbers, 4 minus 1 is 3. Now, here... The two list numbers are 6 and 5, 1 difference is 1, 3 and 2, here third row, difference between two list numbers is 1, in the first column, 1 and 3, 2, second column, 5 and 3, 2, third column, 4 and 2, 2, now like this we have to identify all the penalties, the highest penalty identify, put one bar round of to that highest penalty now it occurs in the first row that's why I enter into the first row in the first row the high, uh, least cost element I enter into the first row in the first row least cost element is one put one box here see the corresponding demand corresponding supply see the corresponding demand and supply 300 350 here 300 350 which one is minimum 300 we used 300 0 we used 350 Now, wherever you get 0, just omit that row. 6, 5, 9, 3, 3, 2. 6, 
now here 150 500 50 400 200 demand supply again penalty in the same way again we'll find penalty in the first row the identify the two list numbers so six and five six and five difference is one three and two difference is one first column three minus six minus three three five minus three two nine minus two seven which one is the highest penalty here seven is the highest penalty therefore enter into the last column in the last column the least cost element is two now put one box here see the corresponding demand and corresponding supply here 200 we use 200 zero we use 200 300 therefore we'll omit the last column after omitting the last column how much we will get we will write omitting the last column we will write six five three three Now again penalty. Six minus five one. Three minus three zero. Six minus three three. Five minus three two. Highest penalty is three. Therefore enter into the first column. In the first column the least cost element is three. First column least cost element is three. Put one box here. See the corresponding demand and supply here. Three hundred is there. Is there fifty? Is there? Which one is minimum? 50 is the minimum. We used 50, 0. We used 50 here, 250. Therefore, wherever you get 0, just omit that one. 5, 3. Here, 150. Here, 250. Here, 400. Now, here, we used... We used 150 is 0. We used 250 is 0. 150 plus 250 is 400 is 0. Like this, 4 sides, uh, 3 sides we have got 0. Until 3 sides we will get 0. Till until that step you have to do. After that again I will draw the complete box. Now 3, 1, 7, 4. Now in shortcut method also how to do this problem I will explain in the next class. Uh, writing these many boxes if you feel any difficulty in the shortcut method also I will tell you but don't use the shortcut method in the examination you have to do using this only this method only it looks neatly and clearly you can understand if you do that shortcut method it won't looks good Anyhow, I will explain that one also. In how many places we have got occupied our cells, I will write 250 near 1, 300, next 332, near 2, 200, next near 3, 50, next. 5, 150, 3, 250. How many occupied cells we have got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, number of occupied cells is equal to M plus N minus 1. Number of rows plus a number of columns minus 1 number of rows is equal to 3 rows how many columns 1 2 3 4 3 rows plus 4 columns minus 1 is equal to 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 we have got 6 occupied cells therefore we have got 6 we got 6 occupied 
cells and total transport is total cost of the transportation now we will calculate total cost total cost of the transportation here how to calculate i will tell you 1 into 300 plus 2 into 250 plus 5 into 550 wherever occupied cells we have got that one we should multiply 1 into 300 2 into plus 2 into 250 plus 5 into 150 plus uh, 3 into 50 plus 3 into 250 plus 2 into 200 like that 1 into 300 plus 2 into 250 plus 5 into 150 plus 3 into 50 plus 3 into 250 plus 2 into 200 is equal to rupees 2850 this is the answer ibfs thank you